In this video, we're going to go over worksheet D54. Um, in, this, uh, in this worksheet, we need to find the perimeter and the area. So the perimeter of the parallelogram is when you add up all the sides. The area is how many square inches. In the, yeah, in this case, it's going to be square inches. How many square inches does this um, parallelogram take up? And when you want to find the area, you need to use the formula for area of a parallelogram, which is base times height. It's kind of like the formula for area of a rectangle or a square. So our base is the number 8 right here, and our height is the number 4. You can tell because um, the base and the height are always going to form like this T. You've got this 90 degree angle right here. That's what the square indicates, and that tells you that one of those is going to be the height and the other one is going to be the base. So we don't know the area, we're going to write A. In place of B, we're writing 8. In place of H, we're writing 4. 8 times 4, I'm using the low multiplication dot. You can punch that in your calculator if you want, or if you already know what it is off the top of your head. It's 8, 16, 24, 32, 32, and then the unit is inches, but because we multiplied 8 inches with 4 inches, it's going to be inches squared, or 32 square inches. So that's going to be our area. Our perimeter, uh, to find that, it's um, you have to add up all the sides. So if the bottom is 8 inches for a parallelogram, we know the top is going to be 8 inches as well. If the left side is 5 inches, you know the right side is also 5 inches. So perimeter can be found by adding up all the sides. 8 plus 8, because you have two 8's, plus 5, plus 5, and 8 plus 8 is 16, 5 plus 5 is 10, so that's 16, that's 10, you add that up, and that's going to equal 26. Again, you can use a calculator, and perimeter is measured in inches, just, in, just not inches squared, because when you're measuring around, you're not measuring by little tiny squares. Area is measured by like drawing little square inches. Perimeter is just measured by inches. So that's how you do uh, number one. Number two, we're not going to work through the whole thing, but to find our base, our height, again, we find the T little box so our base is 12 and our height is 15. Now what happens if you multiply 15 with 12 instead of 12 and 15? Well you're gonna get the same answer so it won't matter. Number three looks like it's a little bit more confusing you're thinking alright here it is here's my T. My base is up here and my height is over here but what's my base? Well if we know our base is 5 point or if we know that this bottom section is 5.1 then we know the top is also 5.1 centimeters. So you're going to multiply your base, 5.1 times the height, 3.2. Again, use your calculator. You don't have to worry about uh, you know, decimals. And last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try number 9, which is kind of tricky, or actually number 10. So for number 10, we've got the area of a parallelogram is 375 centimeters square. The base is 25 centimeters. Find the height. Now, number 9 and 10 are kind of bonus questions. They're not something that we have to do. Uh, we haven't gone through this yet, but here's my parallelogram. I'm going to draw my height right here. Looks like that. And it says the area is 375. So the whole thing is 375 centimeters squared. And that's the area. And they said the base is 25. So the bottom is going to be 25 and they don't know what the height is. So the height is question mark. All right, I'm going to write my formula. Area equals base times height. So what do we know? Do I know the area? Well, I do. It's 375. So in place of A, I'm going to replace that with 375. Base, do I know the base? I do. It's actually 25. Do I know the height? I don't know the height, it's a question mark, so I could um, just leave it as h. It's like a variable, I don't know how to solve that. So 
Now I have an equation that says 375 equals 25h. If I draw my little line down here because it's kind of like an equation, or it is an equation, how do I get h by itself? 25 times what equals 375? Now, uh, some of you can probably figure this out in your heads, but others of you might have recognized that, oh, wait a minute. If 25 is being multiplied by h, I can do the inverse operation. Or I can do the opposite of multiplying by 25. So what you can do is, all right, I'm going to divide by 25 then. Divide this side by 25. Uh-oh, this pen's dying. I'm going to divide both sides by 25. And what that means is 25 divided by 25 cancels that out. You're left with 1, or 1h. One and 375 divided by 25, well, let's go ahead and punch that on our fancy schmancy calculator. So, 375 divided by 25, oops, 375 divided by 25 is, oops, this is 0 0.04, that's not right. Let's try that again, 375 divided by 25, 15, it pays to know a little bit about math, because if I wrote down 0 0.04, not thinking, that would have been the wrong answer. But I knew there was something wrong about that. So our height is 15. And 15 what? Well, uh, the units are in centimeters, so our answer should be 15 centimeters. Now they're asking us uh, to find the perimeter as well. And remember, um, we just found the height, which is 15. Well, actually, do they want us to find the perimeter? Oh, they do not. They don't need the perimeter for number 10. Uh, so that's all you need to do for number 10. Again, 10 is a challenge problem. If you don't know how to do it, don't worry about it. You don't need to know how to do it. Good luck.